Hello, my name is Morgan McGee and I am your star director. First off, I just want to welcome you to our Magnificent Superstars family of teens. We are so glad you joined us. I'm very excited for you to get started with your Scentsy business and I wanted to help you write your list of 100. Your list of 100 is so very, very important to your business. You cannot get your business off on the right foot without a list of 100. And you may think, there's no way I know anywhere near 100 people. Trust me, when I started selling Scentsy, I thought the same thing. I was like, I think I know five people. <laughs> So I'm going to get you thinking outside of the box and really help you figure out who all you can share this product with. So you're getting ready to have your launch party and you need to send out invites. So this is going to be your list for that and it's also going to be people that you, you know, send your website link to. Maybe you're having a Facebook party along with your home party, like if you have family members and friends that are out of state. You always want to have a home party, but you can also have a Facebook party in addition to that if you have non-local connections. So that's even more orders that you can get. These are people that you're also going to talk to about hosting a party for you and even maybe joining your team. So first off, I want you to write down Franks, F-R-A-N-K-S. You have your list of 100 in your consultant guide. Or if you haven't got your starter kit yet and you don't have your consultant guide in person yet, you can either download it on the workstation under the resources tab and print out that list of 100 or you can just write down 100 people. That's really the easiest way to do it. So again, write down Frank's F-R-A-N-K-S. What that stands for is friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, kid connections, and social media. So when you think friends, I want you to think all of your friends. I want you to think close friends, friends that you haven't talked to in a really long time, friends from church, friends from school, friends from work, friends of friends, friends of family members. Um, you know, there's just so many people that you can put in that category. So write down all of those people. Then you're going to go to R, and that is, oh, and husband's friends is also one for friends. Um, R is relatives. So that is going to be not just your close family, like your mom and your aunt and your grandmother. That's going to be anyone in your family. Think cousins, aunts, uncles, um, grandparents, parents and also your husband's family. So that's R. Acquaintances is going to be a huge variety of people. Acquaintances can be so many people. So this one is another one of those that you really need to think outside of the box. So this could be your hair, um, the person that does your hair, the person that does your nails, your doctor and his staff or her staff, your dentist and their staff. People at the post office that you see when you go to the post office often or maybe a cashier that you see that you go to the maybe you go to the dollar store a lot and you know this cashier that works there mailman your UPS driver you know there's just so many people that you know that you really don't think about normally so that's going to be acquaintances and there are so many more people that you could think of but you just have to think outside the box the next one is N, and that one stands for neighbors, and of course that's your people that live anywhere near you, on your street, in your neighborhood, anywhere close by. K is kid connections. That's going to be anyone that you know through your kids. So other parents of their friends that they go to school with, um, parents of the people that they play sports with, their teachers, their coaches that kind of thing. And then S is social media. So anybody else that you can think of on social media that you can contact. And when you have this list done, even if you don't quite have a hundred, that's okay, but you want to get as close as possible. And maybe you have more than a hundred. So this is where you're going to send your invites to your launch party. You're just going to send a message or call. Calling is definitely the preferred method because they can hear the excitement in your voice and it's hard for them to say no when you call them. So when you call them, just be super excited. Of course, 
you just ordered your starter kit so you are very excited and you know that this is going to be so much fun and you want to ask these people to come celebrate your new business with you and just show their support so just say you know I'm having my lunch party next weekend on this day at this time and I thought that you would love these products I have started my own business I'm super excited and I would love to have your support would you come celebrate with me and that's all you need to do and it's very hard for them to say no to that when you are on the phone with them so those are the people that you're gonna call now and invite to your launch party and if you're having a Facebook party in addition, then you can um, let those people know too about your Facebook party, the ones that aren't local. So keep that in mind when you're writing this list that it can be people local or non-local. Like me, I have a lot of connections in other states because my husband was in the military. So I've met, I have tons of customers, you know, all over the country. And um, then I want you to go down your list and I want you to put a heart next to the people that you think would make a great party host. Those are the people that you're going to ask to host a party of their own. Just say, you know, it will get them some free and half price product and that you think they would make a great host and they would have a blast doing it. And then I want you to go down and put a smiley face next to the people that you think would make a great addition to your team. So anybody that loves Scentsy or is super outgoing or knows a lot of people, that kind of thing, those are people you can talk to about the business opportunity. And when you are um, having your launch party, you want to make it a goal to book at least three parties from that party. And then each time that you book a party like that, that's new guests that are coming to each party. And then at that party, you'll book more parties and that'll just keep your business flowing and it'll keep new people coming in constantly. And that is the way that you're going to grow your network. Now, if any of these people can't come to your launch party, you can always ask them, you know, can I send my website link to you and let you do some shopping online? Or can I leave a catalog with you? Or can I meet up with you so you can smell the testers? That kind of thing. So I hope that this helped you better understand how to write your list of 100. Good luck with your launch party. And again, we're so glad that you joined our family. If you have any questions, your sponsor will definitely be your first contact. I may be your sponsor, but if I'm not, then contact your sponsor with your questions first. And if there's anything that you need help with in addition, you can post on our team page or you can come to me and I'll be happy to help. So I hope you have a great launch party and I will talk to you soon. Bye!